Hi, church family. So on Sunday, we are going to be looking at Acts chapters 10 and 11. And we talked yesterday about this interrelated connectedness that we have, uh, that uh, I can only be who I'm supposed to be uh, because you are becoming who God wants you to be. We're connected together. And we particularly see this in the book of Acts in Christ with the apostle Peter and Cornelius, the centurion, a very Hebrew Peter meets with a very non-Hebrew Cornelius. Uh, an apostle of Christ meets with a soldier of Rome. And God orchestrates this a divine collision of grace as he is teaching, well, Peter, to tell you the truth, that God's kingdom is a multi-ethnic, multinational kingdom of a grace and truth under the banner of the resurrected King Jesus. Jesus gives Peter a vision. Jesus gives Cornelius a vision. But if you look at the text, Acts 10 and 11, Jesus only gives a partial vision to each. And they've got to come together so that they can both understand what it is God's will is all about. And I just can't wait to uh, share that passage of scripture with you. I can't wait to, to just uh, draw out the biblical truth that has been put into the text uh, because it affects how we see our world, how, well, how we see one another, how we see um, people who are not like us, people who are different uh, ethnically, uh, nationally, socioeconomically, educationally, able body, disabled body. Now, when I see through the eyes of Jesus Christ, I see people who matter to God. And uh, that's what we're going to be drawing from as we look at Acts chapter 10 and 11. Well, pray for me. I've got a lot to share. I can't wait to worship with you this Sunday. Heavenly Father, you are good, and we love you so much. Thank you for the exhilarating, life-giving truth of your word. Um, help us to set our hearts on your word. Help us to read your word. Help us to practice your word, and help us to teach your word uh, wherever we go. Give us an opportunity today, Lord, to be a good news to whoever it is you want us to see. You never get the wrong address. Oh, God, thank you for that. In Jesus' name, and the church said, amen.